first of all, I'm excited. I'm absolutely humbled. I've been able to go out and talk to so many people in the 4th District and listen to their stories, listen to what's happening and the conversations that they're having at the kitchen table and uh, listening to how Washington's actually affecting them. And I've been able to go out and, and tell their story. And so I've been, I, I'm humbled and I am absolutely inspired by their strength and their courage. I'm, I'm so proud to be a Utahan. I am so proud of this state. I, I could hardly stand it. Proud because they made history. You are the first black Republican woman to be elected to the House of Representatives. So two questions. What took so long? <laughs> and, uh, and, and what do you think <laughs> needs to happen? What do you think needs to happen for more, perhaps, you know, minorities to be elected by the Republican Party? Well, first of all, I think what we need to mention here is this had nothing to do with race. Understand that Utahns have made a statement that they're not interested in dividing Americans based on race or gender, that they want to make sure that they are electing people who are honest and who, are, who have integrity, who could be able to go out and actually um, make sure that we... Uh, we represent the values that they hold dear. And that's really what made history here. It's that, you know, race, gender had nothing to do with it. Principles had everything to do with it, and Utah values had everything to do with it. And so, um, so yeah, I, I just that's wanted, the history that we made here. I want to challenge you on one point, though, because there will be those that will say, not so much dividing on the basis of race, but just making sure that everybody has a seat at the table, a fair shot at getting a seat at the table. Again, you have to understand, I, Saratoga Springs, there are very few uh, black members, black uh, residents there. The, I wasn't elected because of the color of my skin. I wasn't elected because, um, because of my gender. I was elected because of the solutions that I put at the table, because I promised I would run a positive issues-oriented campaign, and that's exactly what resonated. Uh, you know, Utah is, is tired of the bickering. They're tired of Congress not getting anything mm -hmm. done. I hear a lot of talk right now about Congress not wanting to work with the president, president not wanting to work with, with Congress, and few people are talking about working with the American people. The House of Representatives is a branch of government that's closest to people, and that's who I am. I am a person of the people, and so my job is to make sure I'm representing them at every turn. All right. It is the people's house. You have the job, and uh, what are you going to do with it? Right. You know, what, <laughs> so what's now the what? first area <laughs> where you think that you can work with Democrats to get something done? You know, it's, I think one of the things that we need to talk about is balance. Right now, there is no balance in, in government. Washington has gotten too big and people have gotten too small. So we've got to start rolling up our sleeves and making sure that we bring balance back to government. Um, people should have the ability to make decisions in their home, in their communities, and, uh, in, and in the areas that they live in. And we're going to do everything we can in every, at every point to get restore power back to the people.